doing some afternoon smallmouth fishing today. It's about almost 3 p.m. I think. And uh, I want to go out and try my luck at some of the different areas in the river. I haven't really fished too much lately, so I'm gonna get in the urge. So I'm in my trunk right now, I'm gonna pull out some rods, bike to the spot, and turn the camera back on. spot now the next step is to find a way down there trust leaving my bike up on the path so I'm gonna try to bring it down I don't know if this is gonna work <laughs> oh. <laughs> it worked <sighs> enough strenuous labor it is time to fish Nico rig. There's one. Fuck time. Oh my god, did you see that jump? <laughs> that is a small leaf. Giant fish. Wow, look at that. That's a toad. I'm just kidding. Beautiful colors though, and regardless of the lack of gut and length. Beautiful, beautiful small river, small mouth. The lure that I've chosen to fish with today is just a very simple and inexpensive DPS Sticko. It's a four and a quarter inch size, and the color is green pumpkin violet. It's like the best color for smallmouth. I don't know what it is, but it just stands out in just about all different types of watercolors. This is what it looks like. It looks like a green pumpkin, but it's got a nice little violet fleck in there. And it could just be a confidence thing, but I really like this. We've used it up in Clearwater, Wisconsin lakes. I use it here in the river in dirty water conditions, and it works fantastic. The rig of choice is a Nico rig. Instead of rigging it like I would normally do on a Nico rig, I'm kind of rigging it like a wacky worm. I'm finding I'm getting better hookups doing that, even though it's not a traditional Nico style. And uh, I would actually call this a weighted wacky, wacky worm rig. On the butt right there, I got a little zinc weight. But uh, the hook is a Gamakatsu octopus hook size 2, I believe. And it's getting it done today, supposedly. Oh, there's another one. A little smally. See if I'll hit this. I don't, know, I don't know what to do with myself when I get bit. There's one. That's a nice fish. That's a nice smallmouth. Oh yeah, that's a good small one. Ooh, don't, he wants to go on those rocks really bad. It's fairly hooked. <laughs> Not massive, but a lot better. We're starting to get into some bigger fish here. Look at that. I swear, these are the most beautiful fish ever. So these fish, you notice, it's really pretty. It's got these nice blotches on them, and they get that way when they're stressed. If you catch a nice smallmouth and it's totally bronze, and you put it in the live well, at the end of the day, you'll notice that it's turned kind of like a tiger pattern. It's got all these blotches on them, but kind of an interesting thing. They get, they get those blotches when they get stressed. Beautiful smallmouth. I love catching river smallies.
Oh, that's a fish. No way. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> Another nice little decent smallmouth bass. Yeah, I love catching these fish, but my main goal was to catch a nice spot today. I seen a couple nice spots in here earlier, and I just can't seem to find them, to be honest. But these will suffice. I'd rather catch these than a little largemouth. <laughs> beautiful. They're like the most beautiful fish on earth. Just look at that. They're awesome. Oh, uh, I got poop on my screen. <laughs> I was on my phone because I was going to do a periscope and then I realized I didn't have any battery left so I was like, oh whatever. And I'm like, why am I hung up? I'm not even moving my worm. And uh, I felt it pull so I was like, oh that's definitely a fish. 6.36, I need to wrap it up. I've got a long night ahead of me, got to get all packed up, got to do some homework because I am waking up bright and early in the morning tomorrow to leave from Ohio to Illinois. I'm going to see the family and do some work related stuff been a great day now it's time for even a longer one tomorrow oh boy by the way that's the hill that I climbed down from I have no freaking clue how I'm gonna get back up there getting that stupid bike up this hill was the hardest thing ever I almost killed myself I wish I was videotaping but I literally almost killed myself I thought it would be a good idea to start at the midpoint of this hill and try to throw the bike up on top so I wouldn't have to carry it. Well, that was about the dumbest thing I ever did because as soon <laughs> as soon as that bike went straight up into the air, it landed, it landed right here, it went up top, but none of this is secure. So that puppy went flying right back down in my face. I did a little barrel roll to the side. My bike went halfway into the water. I mean, straight up could have broken my nose or hurt my face or something like that but oh my god, it just like was not smart. And I knew exactly what I was getting into. I knew, it, I knew, I was like, well, it's gonna fall, it probably will fall back down, right? So, you know, there it is. Made it to the top, as did I, with all the equipment. I'm about to get off this bike path right now because um, A, there's been some, supposedly some reports of assaults going on this bike path right around morning, which is kind of weird, and uh, I don't want to stick around for it to get too dark and have me be the only one out here because since then, I don't see a whole lot of people out here at night. I don't want anything to get stolen. If this vlog doesn't get posted, it means that my camera got stolen. Time to get some momentum going. Gonna make it back to the dorm. Gonna take the world's longest shower and then probably get packed up. I'm gonna apologize in advance for this terrible lighting, but uh, made it back alive. Still have my camera. Found some Chips Ahoy's in my car. I ate all of them. Everything's packed away for the most part. I'm gonna head back up. Knock out some homework, knock out some packing, and call it a day. Shout out to Smallmouth for making an appearance in the video. Boom.